The annual Mackinac Policy Conference convened by the Detroit Regional Chamber is generally a bookend at the other side of the summer, but this year it gets started this week up at the Grand Hotel with, of course, all sorts of challenges and intrigue behind uh, just holding the event, of course. The Detroit Regional Chamber CEO is our frequent guest on Flashpoint, Sandy Barua, who's back with us. Uh, uh, Sandy, I, let me start by asking, I, I, you know, of course, we had the, you, you, we saw you cancel the last go-round, so this is the first one in about a year and a half, but did you consider just canceling this one as well, given where we are on the pandemic. Yeah, it's our first one since May of 2019, 28 yeah. months. But I'll tell you, Devin, we gave surprisingly little thought to canceling the September event. All along, we were working closely with our board, a clinical advisory team, of course, our chair, who is Wright Lassiter from the Henry Ford Health System. And as long as we could find a way to check all the boxes to do this safely, we were going to proceed and we're glad we are. Uh, you had uh, famously pushed back from the majority leader in the Michigan Senate, uh, Mike Shirky, uh, uh, over the vaccine mandate that you put in place for all attendees requiring proof of vaccine. Was his just sort of the loudest voice or were there a lot of them? Well, we actually had, you know, uh, lots of people, uh, I mean, more than usual, I should say, uh, to cancel. But the reasons for cancellations ran across the board. And actually, the smallest percentage of cancellations came from those who said, we don't like your vaccine requirement. The other ones were we actually got more cancellations from people saying, hey, listen, we're still in this COVID environment. I don't want to be on an island with a thousand people. Yeah. We completely respect that. Yeah. You know, we got uh, cancellations because people were say, were concerned that, you know, listen, there's there's an optics issue because of the organization that I run. Should I be at an event like this at, at this particular time? Uh, and then, of course, people are used to doing this event in May, as you rightly noted in your opening. Uh, and the September time frame just didn't work for their schedules. You, you uh rightly point out, I think, how long it's been since everybody has been together to discuss issues at a terribly important and critical time for the state when you're trying, to, when we really need a sort of consensus on a lot of issues. What do you expect are the biggest marching orders for you this week? Devin, you just you just gave them to us. The ethos that you just described, that it's been so long since Michigan's leaders have come together to talk about common problems and potential common solutions, 28 months and we've had this pandemic uh, in, in that interim period, it's far too long. We are seeing an increased polarization in an already polarized yeah. political and yeah. public environment. We need now a clearer pathway that is bipartisan, that both government and the business sector can rally behind to accelerate Michigan out of this COVID experience. So much has changed. I mean, our society has changed. Our public health situation has changed. Our business and economy landscape has changed. We need leaders to come together, which is one of the reasons, well, actually one of the prime reasons, frankly, we were so intent on doing this event as long as we could do it safely. I, I guess if you were pessimistic about that or didn't believe that it was possible to get everybody together right now, because many people do believe that, then I suppose you wouldn't be holding this conference. Yeah, no, there, listen, uh, obviously, as, as you mentioned, uh, this is uh, a unique conference. Uh, I mean, everything is going to be the same except for all the things that are different. Yeah. Uh, and so it's it's taxing. I mean, we're certainly having to jump through a lot of different hoops. We're doing things uh, differently than we have ever have before. But we think it's really important. The Mackinac Policy Conference is a statewide asset. We view ourselves as stewards of this incredibly important event. We are caretakers of this event. And we, we think it's really important that we bring leaders together. And it's unique in Michigan. Again, no other state has something like the Mackinac Policy Conference. As always, we'll be dialed in closely on it this week. Sandy, thanks so much. Best of luck, and we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks, and take care. You bet. That's it for this morning on Flashpoint. Thanks so much for being here. Meet the press coming up next. Hope you have a great week. We'll see you next time on Flashpoint.